Hi, I just got the new Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette and I wanted to film a video using it. I've been really excited for this palette since I heard about its release and especially seeing um, the swatch video that Kat Von D came out with on her channel. I just really wanted to use it. I'm starting out by using Vestment on most of my eyelid. It's a gorgeous like blue-brown duochrome. I really, really love shades like this. Um, my favorite's going to be Urban Decay Lounge always, but this one comes pretty close. This one, the green is really, really strong in it. You really only see that brown when you start to blend it out, so it, it definitely has um, its own place in that, that uh, field of colors. It's definitely very different. Next, I'm taking Ministry on the outer part of my lid and into my crease. Right now, I'm not really worried about being neat. Uh, I'll just clean up any mess I make later. That's generally how I work, because it's just, just my style, I guess. But, um, yeah, I've never really filmed a tutorial before, or any sort of makeup video, so I'm sorry that I'm just not very good at it. Um, next I'm taking Ashes, and I'm applying that through the crease. The shade has like a green shimmer through it, which is really pretty, but when you apply it with a brush, you don't really see that. It mostly is a matte gray. Um, if you apply it flat with your fingers or with like a sticky base, you will see that shimmer though, so it's, it's really versatile. Um, yeah. I am now taking Rapture onto the inner part of my lid, um, it's mostly covering up the shade vestment, but I just wanted to see how that contrast would look, and I really liked it. Now I'm putting Absolution on the inner corner. Absolution and Rapture are both shades she described as transformative shades, and I definitely agree, but they're more pigmented than I expected it to be, and I really, really like them. Um, I had uploaded a video once before, and I just wasn't very happy with it, so hopefully this time it goes a little better. Um, now I'm taking Exodus and Ministry and putting them on my lower lash line. Uh, I wanted a nice bright color on the lower lash line, that's why I chose Exodus and Ministry just to join it with the top more. Um, yeah, I hope to uh, get more videos out in the future because... I really love makeup and art, and I have a lot of ideas that I want to share um, that I just felt like I haven't had the opportunity before to share with people, and I think this would be a good way to get them out. And, you know, I'm using my laptop webcam, and it's not going to be great quality right now, but if it's something I find that I enjoy doing, then it's something I'll invest more time and more money into in the future, and just let me know what you guys think. Um... And if you would be interested in seeing more content from me, I suppose. Yes. Um, I really like, like a big cat-winged shape. Occasionally I'll venture outside of that, but for the most part, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I, I just really, really like the way it looks on my eyes. On most people's eyes, really. It's just really dramatic and big, and that's kind of my, my style. So, <laughs> um... Yeah. I absolutely love Kat Von D as well. Just, you'll see I use a lot of her products in this video. Um, I did apply eyeliner. I guess I accidentally uh, deleted the footage of that. But now I'm putting on the CoverGirls The Super Sizer Mascara. Um, for my eyeliner, I use the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner in Black to map out my wing. And then to get it nice and sharp, I use the Physicians Formula 2-in-1 uh, Eye Booster uh, eyeliner plus serum, I think it's called, in the shade Ultra Black. It has a stupidly long name. Um, I don't just use that pen because it takes forever to get a, li a line as thick as I want um, and as solid as I want just using a thin pen tip like that, but it works really well to get nice clean lines and it lasts on my inner corner really well, even though it isn't waterproof, so that's really, really nice. Um, yes. <laughs> I take a long time to put on mascara. Is this normal? I feel like I take an excessive amount of time putting on mascara. But, I don't know. Maybe people just don't show it. People probably don't show it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. Next I'm going to be putting on the Kat Bundy Shade and Light Blush in the shade Hansel and Gretel. 
I really, really like these blushes. Um, they were discontinued, um, and I guess a lot of people didn't think they lasted very well or weren't very pigmented, but I've never had problems with this particular shade. Um, it could have to do with the fact that I don't wear foundation usually, so I'm not really sure. But either way, I like it. Now I'm going to be drawing on my brows. Um, I, I'm doing them real dark today. It's just, just what I was feeling. That's, that's the case. Sometimes... Sometimes you want dark eyebrows with your banana yellow hair. It's fine. I'm using the um, ColourPop brow color, the like po pomade version. Um, I forget exactly what they call it. Um, in the shade Jet Set Black. I really, really like their brow products. They're cheap and they have a good range of colors um, as far as natural-ish colors go, at least. Um, I haven't bought anything new from ColourPop in a really long time, because I felt like their releases got more and more boring, unfortunately, but maybe they'll come up with something more exciting soon. We'll see. I really like supporting, um, indie companies, and they're gonna be in Sephora this holiday, which is cool. Like, ooh, fancy. Be curious to see if they come out with anything worthwhile, um, when they launch there. But, I don't know. It's whatever. Uh, today I wanted, like, some pretty, like, angular, like, almost Spock-level eyebrows. It's just what, what I was feeling today, most days, lately, and that's, that's okay. It's whatever. Look, there's two. Crazy. Um, now I'm applying, um, a contour shade from the Lunatic Cosmetics Lab Contour Palette. Um, their, like, original one. They came out with a darker one recently, which I want to get as well. Like, I know all the shades are probably too dark for me, but I'll wear them as eyeshadows. I'm just a hoarder, so I want it. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. I'm sorry. I, I just love I love supporting um, small companies, indie companies. I just I want all of the makeup on my face and in my apartment. Uh, right. So I had a little bit of trouble deciding what I wanted to wear my lips, but I decided on the uh, Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Digger. It's like a nice blue-toned gray. Um, I really, really love this color, and it lasts really long on me, and it's just, it's fun. I kind of have to maneuver my lips a little strangely to deal with my piercing, so bear with me there. Um, that's something else I think I want to make videos about sometime in the future, is, um, my piercings and, um, piercings I want and that kind of stuff. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in that or if you have any questions regarding those kinds of things. Uh, that is, if, if anybody's watching and cares <laughs> at this point, I don't know. That's okay. I think I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out, given the fact that it's in my bedroom with my cats talking to my laptop but other than that <laughs> um yeah I really really love this color these applicators kind of push products around a little weird sometimes they're a little stiff and they can um make sheer spots in the product even though the product's not sheer but um it's usually not very hard to fix and it's not something I'm mad at. I really love her liquid lipsticks are some of my favorites. And the packaging is very elegant. It's just not very practical, in my opinion. But that's okay. I, I like it still. Yes. <laughs> Next I'm applying uh, the blue sapphire shade from the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. I absolutely love this palette. I bought it like the day it was released. <laughs> it's one of my favorites and it's just, it's gorgeous everywhere. I want it all over my face. I'm applying that to the cheekbones, temples, nose, and cupid's bow. Um, yes. My favorite shade is the ultraviolet amethyst shade, and I need to stop myself from using it all the time because it's all I want on my face every day. Here's a close-up kind of finished look. You can, and I took some pictures with some a little bit better lighting quality, so you can kind of see the uh, colors a little more. Still not great, but you know, it gets a better image of what it really looks like in person than what my webcam does. And there's swatches of the center side. Kind of ran out of space because I wasn't accounting for my tattoo. And then the, oh, I'm sorry, this one's the center side. The first one was the saint. 